Welcome to Godly Grind, where we explore faith-based entrepreneurship and how biblical principles can help you achieve wealth and success in your business. In today's video, we'll be discussing the foundations of godly entrepreneurship and how these timeless principles can drive your success. Let's take a closer look at the first principle, diligence. You might be wondering, what exactly is diligence and how can it help me in my entrepreneurial journey? Diligence can be defined as consistent, persistent effort in pursuing a goal, and it's a fundamental aspect of success in any venture. In the context of entrepreneurship, it means putting in the time and effort to grow your business, make informed decisions, and learn from your mistakes. So why is diligence so important? Well, think about it this way. Entrepreneurship often involves challenges and setbacks. It's not always a smooth ride, and it takes determination to keep pushing forward when things get tough. By being diligent in your work, you're not only more likely to overcome obstacles, but you're also building a strong foundation for long-term success. The Bible highlights the importance of diligence in many verses. For example, in Proverbs 12:24, it says, The hand of the diligent will rule, while the slothful will be put to forced labor. This verse reminds us that those who work hard and persevere are more likely to succeed and reap the rewards of their efforts. As a Christian entrepreneur, you can apply the principle of diligence in various aspects of your business, such as setting clear goals and working consistently towards achieving them, continuously improving your skills and knowledge in your industry, paying attention to details and maintaining high-quality standards in your products or services, being proactive in addressing challenges and seeking innovative solutions. By incorporating diligence into your daily work, you're not only honoring your faith, but also setting yourself on the path to lasting success in your entrepreneurial endeavors. Remember, as Colossians 3, 23, 24 states, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Now let's discuss the second principle, integrity. Integrity is all about being honest, ethical, and staying true to your moral values, even when no one is watching. As a Christian entrepreneur, upholding integrity in your business is essential for building trust and fostering long-lasting relationships with your customers, employees, and partners. So how can you incorporate integrity into your entrepreneurial journey? Here are a few suggestions. Be transparent in your business practices, openly sharing information about your products or services and their true value. Treat your customers, employees, and partners fairly and with respect, always considering their best interests. Make sure to honor your commitments, whether it's delivering on time, fulfilling contractual obligations, or simply keeping your word. By embracing integrity in your business, you'll not only create a solid reputation, but also demonstrate your commitment to living by your faith and biblical values. As Proverbs 22, one states, A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Moving on to the third principle, stewardship. Stewardship is about being responsible for the resources and talents entrusted to you and using them effectively for the greater good. As a Christian entrepreneur, practicing good stewardship can help you optimize your business's potential and make a meaningful impact on the world. To apply the principle of stewardship in your entrepreneurial journey, consider the following. Manage your finances wisely by creating a budget, controlling expenses, and investing in opportunities that align with your values and goals. Utilize your time efficiently by prioritizing tasks, setting deadlines, and delegating when necessary. Develop your talents and skills, as well as those of your team members, through continuous learning and professional development. By embracing stewardship in your business, you're not only being accountable for the resources and talents God has entrusted you with, but also setting a strong foundation for growth and success. As Matthew 25, 21 says, His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Finally, let's explore the fourth principle, generosity. Generosity is about giving freely and sharing your resources with others, particularly those in need. As a Christian entrepreneur, cultivating a spirit of generosity not only reflects your faith and values, but can also lead to personal and business growth. To incorporate the principle of generosity into your entrepreneurial journey, consider these tips. 
donate a portion of your profits to charitable causes that align with your values and passions. Offer pro bono services or discounted products to underprivileged communities or individuals in need. Encourage a culture of giving within your business by involving your team in philanthropic initiatives and supporting their volunteer efforts. By embracing generosity, you're not only making a positive impact on the lives of others, but also enriching your own business and personal life. As Acts 20.35 states, In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Let's take a look at some real-world examples of successful entrepreneurs who've applied biblical principles to their businesses. Today we'll be talking about David Green, founder of Hobby Lobby, and Truett Cathy, founder of Chick-fil-A. These entrepreneurs demonstrate how incorporating biblical values into your business practices can lead to long-lasting success and positive impact. David Green, founder of Hobby Lobby. David Green founded Hobby Lobby in 1972 with just $1.600. Today, it's a multi-billion dollar business with more than 900 stores across the United States. Green has always been open about his Christian faith and its influence on his business decisions. Here are some examples of how David Green incorporated biblical principles into his business. Generosity. Green established the Hobby Lobby Foundation, which donates millions of dollars each year to charitable causes, including Christian ministries, education, and health care. In 2017, the Green family also opened the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C., a $500 million project funded primarily by the family's fortune. Integrity Hobby Lobby is known for its ethical business practices, such as closing its stores on Sundays to allow employees time for rest and worship. The company also pays its full-time employees well above the federal minimum wage. Stewardship Green believes in responsible financial management and has made it a cornerstone of Hobby Lobby's operations. The company has zero long-term debt, and Green attributes this financial stability to following biblical principles. Truett Cathy, founder of Chick-fil-A Truett. Cathy founded Chick-fil-A in 1946, and it has since grown into one of the largest quick-service restaurant chains in the United States. Cathy, who passed away in 2014, was a devout Christian, and his faith heavily influenced his business decisions. Here's how Truett Cathy applied biblical principles to Chick-fil-A. Generosity. Cathy created the Windshape Foundation, which supports youth and family programs, and provides scholarships to Chick-fil-A employees. The company also donates food and resources to various charitable organizations and disaster relief efforts. Integrity. Like Hobby Lobby, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays to give employees time to rest and worship. The company has also implemented a corporate purpose statement that emphasizes its commitment to serving others and honoring God. Stewardship. Kathy believed in investing in his employees' personal and professional growth. He established the Chick-fil-A Leadership Scholarship Program, which has awarded over $110 million in scholarships since 1973. These examples of David Green and Truett Cathy show that living by biblical principles in business can lead to both financial success and meaningful impact on the lives of employees, customers, and the broader community. By applying these principles in your own entrepreneurial journey, you too can build a thriving, God-centered business that leaves a lasting legacy. As we've seen through the examples of David Green and Truett Cathy, applying biblical principles such as diligence, integrity, stewardship, and generosity in your entrepreneurial journey can lead to remarkable success and positive impact. By embracing these values, you not only honor your faith, but also create a business that stands out for its ethical practices and commitment to making a difference in the world. So, as you embark on your own entrepreneurial adventure, remember to stay true to these principles and trust in the wisdom of the Bible. Keep in mind the words of Proverbs 16, 3. Commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will be established. By doing so, you'll not only build a thriving, God-centered business, but also inspire others to do the same. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of faith-based entrepreneurship. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on how to apply biblical principles to your business. We look forward to supporting you on your journey to success.
and we encourage you to always keep your faith at the forefront of your entrepreneurial endeavors. May God bless your business and guide you on your path to success.